Louisiana Beer Reviews, Hard Orange Cream Ale from Coney Island Brewing, or Boston Beer Company, who bought this line of beers, this operation in 2013. Best Buy, uh, May of 2018, it's got the date, guys, the Best Buy date. Please. Born on date, I don't know, it's 227-224626E. Not gonna try to figure that out. All right, um, it's a ale, an ale brewed with natural flavors and caramel color added. Yep, it says it right there. All right, um, in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company, yeah. Since they own it, makes sense. Some smoke, they bought it from uh, Schmaltz. I thought that bottle design looked familiar. As soon as I saw that Best Buy date, I said, ah, that's right, they bought them out. Or bought that line from them. For adults only, says right there, okay. The head's gonna die right away, that white head, that, cook, that soft drink type head, it's a uh, kind of copper color, orange copper colored um so beer advocate says it's a 68 out of 100 kind of okay in the way they see it uh rapier saying it's, it's no untapped saying 69 out of 100 then rapier saying oh no a 12 out of 100 a horrible product but in the style what they call a shan shandy radler type thing it's a 93 out of 100, so that tells you they don't like the style. I don't love the style, honestly. I never think to myself, man, I want to drink a Shandy or a Rattler or a flavored beer, but I try to be fair with it. Let's go. Okay. Oh. It smells like um, a cream soda. Not cream ale, cream soda, like a A&W cream soda. Uh-oh. Not what I was looking to drink, but I didn't know. Okay. It smells literally just like that. And I don't know how to describe that. How do you describe a cream soda smell? Like sugary, candy-like? Like this root beer candies, sort of like. Maybe it does smell like a root beer. It's hard, it's hard to describe taste. Orange. Sugary, very sweet. It says in the bottle and on the website, it's kind of odd thing you get at Coney Island, New York. Some spiciness, which I guess you get some kind of spices in those cream sodas slash root beers. Anyway, undisclosed spices, they have caramel color added. 5% alcohol, IBUs not listed. Light to medium body. Sweet finish. It's like, um, it's just like all these other uh, like hard sodas, that's what it is. Um, I was kind of wary about buying it when I bought it at Alpertsons in Baton Rouge. I said, I'm on a U.S. Highway 61 um, southbound in Bat Baton Rouge. I said, I don't know about this, but I'll try it. It's kind of like what Great Beer is saying, it, but it's not horrible. I mean, it's not. <clears throat> okay, let me say it. It's very good in the style, the hard soft drinks hard sodas whatever you want to call it so yeah 93 in the style that makes sense now saying it's a 12 overall in beer it it's hard to say because there's a common argument that you hear and i'm part of it what is beer supposed to be this is not what i would say beer should be and it's sort of like you want to say it's an illegitimate style. It shouldn't exist. It's a flavored malt beverage. Okay, but those exist. People buy them. It's like the Seagram's Escapes, the Mike's Hard, 
hard uh, the the um, Smirnoff flavored products. So I don't have to like the style. You don't have to like the style, but it exists. It is very popular. So within that realm of beverage that we like me, maybe me and you look down on or don't regard very well. It is very fine in that style. So take that as you will. So I'm going to say for what it is, and I don't like what it is, but that is the same case every time. But for what it is, it is a most excellent product. We'll say 93 and A. So, uh, a beer. So, Laissez les bon temps Well, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.